And what about the experience of dealing with expert neurosurgeons? Has it been easy? Uh, it's not always been easy. Uh, these neurosurgeons are from the top qualified doctors in the country. Um, and we did ask um, for a second opinion from our local neurosurgeon, uh, which the neurosurgeon wasn't particularly happy with. Um, but we did push for that, and I think it is every parent's right. Um, and I'd recommend that, you know, getting at least two opinions. And our second opinion was completely different than the initial one. The initial um, neurosurgeon suggested that we should have these four cavernomes removed. Um, was unsure of the overall effect on the rest of the brain by removing all four of them, uh, but thought it would be, be the best thing because the rest of the brain was swelling around these cavernomes, which had bled and other problems. And we went down to London and saw um, Mr. Chandler, and he said, "Just leave them all alone." You know, he looked at our son and said, "He's well. He's living with them." Um, and we should just leave them while he is well. And if he was to get a very severe bleed, he thought there was time at that time to have them move then, rather than, you know, have a severe bleed and being able to treat it, do it then. But then on the other hand, our local neurosurgeon in Birmingham was saying that if you do have surgery on a child's brain below the age of seven or nine, there is a better chance for the brain to regenerate and renew the pathways that have perhaps been lost during surgery. So that's a definite dilemma, but at the moment we're going with a non-surgery approach, but we may change that if Fraser's condition worsens uh, or you know we have more advice on that matter. Um, just don't be, don't be um, backwards in going forwards about asking for a second opinion if you feel that you need one. Um, because um, I think with a condition that is that serious, uh, it's probably the sensible thing to do. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's your child's life in their hands, and I'd get as many opinions as, as you can, really.